Good morning, Dominic Nation. Welcome to the vlog. It's a beautiful Wednesday. The sun is out. The lake looks amazing. Lots of guys out there fishing. Speaking of fishing, Carl's coming again today to work on another YouTube clip. I figured today, instead of just waking up and working all day long, do like a one kilometer walk. Get some fresh air into the lungs. Ooh. I've already done the vlog. I started editing it last night. It was, wasn't a particularly hard vlog to edit. And uh, so I got that done. Most of it done last night. Tweaked it up this morning, uploaded it. Uh, had my breakfast, had my one coffee. I'll have the other one when I get back. And uh, work with Carl for probably about another three to four hours. And uh, yeah, well, and the uh, Taki challenge is gonna go up today. I'm looking forward to seeing how well or badly that does. And we're back. Totally forgot to tell you about a couple things that happened last night. Um, when I was flying the drone, I was doing a whole bunch of stuff around sailboats. And then the warning came on saying, you need to get back because you're running out of power and so when I, you first buy it it starts giving you a warning at 30 percent which is really annoying because you can fly for another six minutes or more on 30 percent but uh that whole time is an alarm is going off like that so it's like really annoying so i dropped it down to 20 percent so that you know, I'm not usually never that far away from the drone, but yesterday my drone was really far away from me and when the alarm went off, so I had to turn around and book it back. And then all of a sudden I realized, or started second guessing myself and uh, thinking that I was flying to the wrong shore, and uh, but I wasn't. So I made it back with 13%, which is the scariest. Because if, if you're over land, and it's trying to get back and it literally runs out of power, then, you know, you can possibly see where it landed and go get it. Because it doesn't crash, it doesn't just stop and then fall. It knows to drop and safely. So, but when you're over water, <laughs> your drone's dead. So I got back just in time. And then when I went to land it, went and land, I, there's a nice flat spot by the picnic table. So I flew past the picnic table, pressed the button, said, you know, land for me. And as it landed, it drifted. I don't know why, it drifted right back into the picnic table. And I had to like reach down and grab it like a rock lobster uh, by its undercarriage uh, as quickly as I could without it cutting my arm off. Uh, and before it hit the picnic table. So I literally saved the drone, saved the drone. almost one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Carl has just left. We got the show done really fast today, which is amazing. Uh, I'm super stoked about that. I'm just uh, talking with Paul right now on uh, through texting. And so we're on for tonight. Uh, we're shooting a uh, cook and review and that will be up for next Wednesday. I'm not sure what he's going to cook. It doesn't matter what he cooks. I'm going to eat it. Uh, and then I had a comment here from this person. Not sure how to say that. Tube Playa. And he said uh, in an earlier vlog, you said we will we will reschedule. Uh, why didn't you take the credit and not lose money? Well, we're not losing any money at all because, <clears throat> like what I said, uh, I don't think we're going to get our money back from either of the hotels uh, and possibly not from Hawaiian Airlines at this point. I don't know about that one, uh, but because WestJet gave us like 75% of our money back, the insurance, 
and that was another comment. Somebody also asked, why don't we get flight insurance? We did we, because I bought it with my Avion Visa card. We are covered up to six thousand uh, dollars on the Avion Visa. So because WestJet knocked it or gave us seventy five percent of our money back, the six thousand or five to six thousand dollars that Visa's insurance on the card will cover because we bought all the stuff with that Visa. Uh, the, that amount will cover everything so we're not losing any money whatsoever we are covered through insurance on the visa card that I basically use uh, or it's like $120 a year to have that to actually own that visa card so it just paid for itself many many times over so there's your there's two questions answered which was the uh, we're not losing money we're not losing money uh, and uh, we do get insurance if I didn't have that Visa card, we would have bought insurance on that flight. I think it's like 90 bucks, I'm not sure. It's five o'clock, I'm on my way down to Paul's house to do a cook and review. Uh, obviously Ben's driving. What's up? We got Nick and Ty Taylor in the back. Did you almost call me Tyler? They almost called you Tyler. Why is Ben? I don't know why. I don't want Ben to be there. It's going to kill us. Uh oh. Oh, wait. This is where we. Well, they oh, looked together really fast, and now they're going insane. Oh, they have a Germany flag. Though. Germany flag. It's okay. They know they're going to win the cup. <laughs> Germany's got a good soccer team, football team. Taylor's out. He's wearing a Germany shirt. Is he really? And a Germany Nice. What do, you, what do you think is going to be the final? Germany and who? Germany. I'm not sure. Okay, there's there's a little there's a bit of a problem. I want it to be Germany and France, okay. but it's not gonna happen. Yeah, <laughs> they can't because they're probably gonna face. Yeah, I wanted. I feel like Germany and Portugal. That's what there I you go. Think. Germany and Portugal. All right. So it seems uh, Portugal has won some type of a tournament. Not sure if it's ping pong or. Probably soccer though, or football. Poor police officer has to deal with that. They just won a game. Oh, it's not like dying in Europe. <laughs> they literally won one the game. Dropped off all the guys. Uh, now I'm on my way down to Paul's house to do a cook and review. Uh, and it turned out that the that Portugal won over Wales two nothing. So that's what all the commotion was about. Congratulations, Portugal! All right, guys, made it down to Paul's house. Paul, say hi. Hola. Apparently you and I had a big fight and that's why we don't do uh, cooking review anymore. What do you mean? Somebody started a rumor. Oh. Somebody said, oh, why, why haven't you started done uh, cooking review in a while? Well, they had a huge fight, didn't you know? And so like all these people are asking tons of I questions. I looked on... Uh... So one of our videos is over 100,000 uh, views now, which is awesome. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, there's a couple ones that are over 90 something. So there, yeah, there's a bunch of them are getting close to 100,000. Cool. Which is very cool. Yeah. And so today, we're just debating on whether or not to cook this inside or outside. So we've got some onion crisps, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, jalapeno. We've got some cheese. And Hot so dogs, burger, what, what, what's, this, bacon. what's the spin on what well, you want to do? No, I was looking at, um, I, was looking at the, I just looked up the Whopper dog. I don't eat a lot of fast food. Yeah. So when, we, when I hear stuff, I don't even, I go to McDonald's once or twice a year. And, no, I don't eat like it's no. funny. So when I see stuff, so I'm looking. At, I looked online to see what it is. It's like hot dog with tomato, pickle. And I'm like, yeah. it's just a hot dog. With, not, with extra they toppings. It, and they call it a Whopper dog. Yeah, yeah. With, and it had ketchup and mayo, which is pretty standard. So I'm like, why don't we do? Because if I was thinking Whopper dog, I'm like, I'd think it'd be like a hot dog on a, on Whopper, a Whopper with yeah. the whole. So I'm like, let's make a big messy stack. But of course, we have to do bacon too. Of course, bacon, bacon cheeseburger Whopper dog. 
Whopper yeah, because isn't there a Whopper that you can get with bacon and cheese? Yeah. No? Yeah. Cheese, cheese and bacon and Whopper. So it, oh, it's cheese, bacon, bacon cheese Whopper, and Whopper dog. Yeah. And then, uh, instead of diced onion, I did an onion crisp there. I was like, that'd be nice because it gives it that, sure, I like yeah. that texture. So if we're yeah. doing, um, if we're stacking it high, then I put some, I've got some jalapenos because so I was going to do a hot sauce. I'm like, you know, I don't want to kill it with heat. Yeah. And I think the jalapenos would be good. And since you don't like pickles, like, it's pickled jalapeno, but it has that tang. Yeah. So I thought it'd be a good mix. Let's do it. Yeah. And I've, there's some beers I started pouring. That machine, I gotta tweak and something's up. You know, Paul has in his kitchen, people. I know, that's a bad sign. Okay. Yeah. You well, drank so much beer last time that uh, it was it's coming out like... It, I put the pressure on, then it'll start to go. But it's coming out very foamy. So I'm gonna redo the... I'm gonna redo... I can't figure it out. I'm gonna redo the lines. Because hmm. it's, it's a it's a cheap unit, so I'm going to put in real yeah. beer lines and have it totally redone to pour great. Well, I'm going to go wait in the car until you fix it. 